The number of people suffering problems after COVID vaccines continues to grow as researchers learn more about how to diagnose and treat the lingering illnesses. A new documentary, The Unseen Crisis, examines the stories of some who got their shots, doctors vilified when they tried to help, and allegations that the government has long been quietly treating a select few of the injured. One doctor's appointment, I just had what seemed like an inflamed wrist, and the next one I was numb up to my back. That's the first time the doctor was like, you have a problem way bigger than your wrist. Like, you need to get your brain checked out. The next day, I went paralyzed on my right leg. So seven days after the vaccine, I had gotten so bad that they placed me on the ventilator for the first time to be able to breathe. So that was kind of the, the first start of it. This is a disease that has to come out of the shadows. Cindy Drew Care is a producer of The Unseen Crisis. How did you first learn there was this population of what you're calling the unseen? Soon after the vaccine rollout, there started to be stories emerging. You know, on Twitter, people posting their own stories or here and there of people who were having a bad reaction to the vaccine. But the other side of it is what, what happened when they tried to share about it, even just posting on Twitter, hey, this is happening, or whatever social media to try to find, are there other people who are having the same thing? Uh, what do you know about it? Getting censored, getting called, you know, misinformationists. Was there an organized effort to make sure when people spoke of this that they got controversialized or censored? It was so consistent um, that to them, like, it could only have been, you know, sort of an organized effort. Why would all the social media platforms silence our stories? Why would Facebook when we have a support group and they're just talking about their own personal stories and trying to get best practices, share advice, learn more about it, you know, tens of thousands of people get shut down by Facebook. Why? You said the FDA and maybe others are well aware of these adverse events that maybe are not officially recognized. How do we know this? So. In the film, one of the people I speak with is uh, Brienne Dressen, and she was in the AstraZeneca trials. Her condition was so bad, she was sure she was dying. Nobody in an emergency room, nobody could help her, nobody could diagnose it. Finally, she got lucky. The National Institutes of Health, or NIH, flew her out to join a small-scale study with 22 other vaccine injured, and it changed everything. They flew us out. We were there in person. We were in the state-of-the-art facilities. They know at a very intimate level what's going on with this. They know about microclotting. They know about the nervous system breakdown. They know about small fiber neuropathy. They know about the cognitive issues. They know all of it. They haven't given that very essential and matter-of-fact treatment to all of the other Americans who stepped up and got their shot. She's like, they studied it and they treated her and they reversed the trajectory of her illness and she got better, a lot better, almost completely better. And this was very early on. And their whole point is, if you just say, hey, maybe this is something that happens, you don't even have to say officially, but heads up, you might see this in your emergency rooms. Here's the test to do, you know, here's how you may treat it then people could get help. But because none of that was officially coming down, the doctors in emergency rooms didn't know about it unless they had, you know, put pieces together themselves. People are showing up at the emergency room or the doctor with stroke and other symptoms and not being asked if they've had COVID recently or been vaccinated. It's almost being ignored. It is being ignored. I mean, that's part of the unseenness because Doctors also see what happens to people, other doctors, that talk about it and make the connections because the doctors in the film and other doctors have been, had their licenses threatened or taken away, they've lost jobs, they're, you know, ostracized from the medical community just by talking about it, saying it exists. And what do you think is the bigger message here based on the things that you learned in making the film? One of them is hopefully, as one of the people in the film says, you know, I hope people just will ask more questions and not just accept everything they're told. And I think we should be suspicious anytime we see this instant shutdown of any questioning, of any dissenting voices, of any other medical opinions. I, I, hopefully we've sort of learned that lesson. You can watch the full documentary by going to unseencrisis.com.